So today we'll be doing a video about Sailor Moon Decor. So right now what you're looking at are the Ichiban Kuji, the F prizes, which are the towels. As you can see, I taped those up using scotch tape on the wall. These towels are a pretty good way to show like diversity in your collection as far as different photos and all. And it's a great way to take up space. Right there is a laminated photo I had framed. And below it you see advertisements for past gosh ponds that came out throughout the years. Okay, so up here you see basically um, these are clear files, but in the clear files you see um, ads and flyers for, for the 20th anniversary and also for the 25th anniversary as far as the musicals and all. I think it brings a good touch to your collection. Okay, next up I have a bunch of wall scrolls. I particularly like to hang my wall scrolls on the ceiling. Again, um, depending on the type of wall scroll you decide to order, it can take up a lot of space. So that way, you save money and also have a full collection. Of course, this artwork is done by Marco. And below this particular wall scroll, you see more advertisements for gashapons. So the way I set it up was I had the gashapons in front of the actual um, poster boards. So that way, you know, it's a good way to show the history as far as the recent history of Sailor Moon's merchandise. Um, right there is a poster that came out from Viz Media. And next to it is more wall scrolls. Again, Marco's artwork is absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. So if you have the uh, chance to actually get his artwork, whether it be a wall scroll, photo, whatever it may be, go ahead and take advantage of it. Right there is a framed photo of the Super S season. Okay, again, more wall scrolls. I told you guys I love wall scrolls. So what I did here was with Windows, unfortunately, light causes a lot of sun damage to your toys and collectibles. A wall scroll is a good way to protect your collection against um, light, things that are against our toys, against our collectibles, that can make them faded throughout the years. So as you can see here, I created a large photo in a way to think about it using the wall scrolls. I got these particular wall scrolls from Circle Red at the time. Again, this is a good way to cover space, protect your collection, and also show off your love for Sailor Moon. Right here, you're looking at um, baseball card holders. So with these particular baseball card holders that I have here, I got them from Michaels. Depending on, our, on your type of store that you have, you may see these on sale for probably around half off or you buy one, get one free. So with this particular baseball co card holder, um, you basically take the holder apart and you put your card in there. This one, this card in particular, is from the card ass collection. And the way I arranged the cards were based off the Sailor Century. And it can be kind of a struggle to get the card back in there, but it's definitely worth it. Okay, next up. Now this is a calendar from 2017. It was a small calendar from Marker, of course. And what I did was I took the calendar apart, different pictures, and I made a collage of images that he created. I got this particular frame from, I want to say Walmart. You can get your frames from Walmart, Target, it doesn't matter. Um, I usually try to go to Target, and the reason being is the fact that if there's something on Target online that's cheaper, most of the time the store will price match it for you. So therefore, if there's a, if there's a uh, picture frame that's maybe, I don't know, $20 or so, if you find it online for cheaper, they'll price match it for you. So that's how I got my picture frames from Target. So right here, you see some more advertisements for gashapons. And again, I like to put the advertisements right next to the gashapons. You can find these advertisements, these poster boards. Oh yeah, I was on a ladder <laughs> during the time. Um, you can find these all over eBay. You can find them on Yahoo! Cheaper and Auctions. Again, I like the history of the collection as far as letting us know when it came out, which item it was. I think that's a really good touch to our collection, showing the history of when it came out. Over here, I have more images. Um, now these images came out in the late 90s. I want to say probably around 96, 97. Um, and again, I got these picture frames from Target. And also, like I said before, price match. There are a lot of good deals out there when you go to Target. 
or Walmart. Just have to look online and go to the employer, employee, I should say, and they, should, they can help you out. So right here, I have the Four Girls Memory boxes. A lot of the collectors like to keep the boxes, including myself. So what I did was I used the boxes as a way to show type of uh, depth or texture um, in front of the photos. Right here, now this is actually a wall scroll. It's a bootleg wall scroll, but it's a wall scroll nonetheless. Um, I got it from eBay. I was trying to find the original poster, but it's pretty hard to find. Um, again, more boxes to create more of a depth and give your you know collection more, I don't know, more of that depth, I could say. <laughs> Only other word I could think of. Um, I got these particular stars from, I want to say Hobby Lobby. So definitely take advantage of your local Hobby Lobby um michaels they have a lot of great creative tools there you can use to display your collection right there that's an advertisement for the mystery minis funkos and right there again you see the toys the mystery minis the funkos more marco's beautiful artwork as well and again i got this from a calendar i want to say the 2017 calendar the larger one and so right here, you're seeing a close-up of how I got the wall scrolls up on the ceiling. I used command strips. And you can find command strips, Target, Walmart, anywhere. Uh, um, and they're really good, and they hold up for a pretty long time. I put these up maybe a month or two ago, and they've been holding on pretty strong. So right here, I'm about to uh, make a new photo as far as a, a picture frame and all. So I got this background these sheets from Hobby Lobby. They have these different types of sheets that have metallic backgrounds or sparkly backgrounds. Um, so that way, you know, you have that pop in your, in your picture. Right here is a vintage photo of Eternal Sailor Moon that's been wrapped up for a pretty long time. And right now you guys want to see me frame it. 